Welcome back, you beautiful people. You know my love for fat bikes is massive. I love them. I love pushing them. I love riding them. So that's why I'm out here in Scotland at Fort William to ride the World Cup downhill track. And then look at it, it's the perfect color for my fat bike. This is my Canyon Dude, everyone. Look at it, 4.8 inches of width and girth of tire, 26 inch wheels. Come join me on this incredible ride down this horrible track that I've never walked, never ridden, never seen, just watch people ride it. So, enjoy this. Clicking in, two, one, go. Super small and like the fat tires take up the whole boat. It's incredible. It is rough, but we, we've yet to get to the rough stuff, man. my World Cup downhill fat bike. There's G Atherton. Look at him. Go G. Go G. Before I get any further on, a lot of people ask me, what is the setup on your fat bike? Because there is some fat bike riders out there and they want to know what my setup is like on my fat bike. So I've stopped halfway before I drop into the woods over there. This is my Canyon Dude. It's a, a medium sized frame. It's the CF, which is carbon fiber. It's super lightweight. The tires I've got on this bike have actually, because we've got a nice new sponsor, Vittoria, and these tires are, the biggest fat bike tires I've ever seen in my life. These are the uh, Canonoli, Canoli, Canoli, 26 inch times 4.8, 4.8 of girth, man. That is a lot of rubber there. But you know what? It doesn't feel as rough as it is if I was to ride my new proof scout. I've raced the Mega Avalanche on the hardtail and that was rough. This, it feels way more forgiving but when it comes to riding those rocks, right? Those big baby head rocks, even bigger than baby heads, like Dotty size heads, Neil size heads, Rich, Blake, all of our heads all over the floor. It's, uh, it just grabs a rock and it fires you that way and it hits the next rock and goes that way. It's only little bits, but you'd know it's like this constantly. So you gotta be, you gotta be on it. 
but these tires are massive. I'm running a 12 by. Um, I got no dropper on this bike and my cables are like this. That is for bar spins. I don't know why I've set it up like that, but it's for bar spins. That's why I'm doing it. But uh, I've tried and it's really hard, but yeah. There'll be another video coming soon, but this is my bike. It's uh, in all its beauty. I love it. Look at it. Riding that, I reckon I got the mega avalanche, man. You've yeah, you've heard it, and it's been in the comments. Do a mega on a fat bike. I'm gonna do the mega on a fat bike. starting to feel it a little bit now. We're in the woods and uh, I've been stopped starting, but I still feel it. And this is where it gets rough. And a bit greasy with these tires in here because I'm running real hard tire pressure, which I forgot to say. I'm running eight and a half PSI. Eight and a half PSI, front and rear. Front and rear, I think a little bit harder in the rear. I think that's about 9.5. Right, we're in the woods! That rock garden was the worst thing known to mankind, dude. Why? I can actually see the enjoyment, the challenge. Right, we're halfway. We're at the infamous road gap. You're coming through this horrible, horrible wood. It's really nasty out there. Come off this and then it's just like, rah. Bike park burn, bike park burn, bike park burn. Then there's the wall ride, which is just there. And it goes through a bit more of a wood, which I think is where the nasty wood was back in 2018. And then it drops over humpback bridge, down, flat out, left hand hip, and then motorway all the way. Oh, da, 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 which I probably won't be going. Oh, da, 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 da. I'll be going. Oh, da, da, da. There you go, dropping in. <sighs> Let's go look at that road. Let's go look at that wall ride, because I am. I'm not gonna do it, probably. Probably won't do it. I won't do it, I won't do it. I love jumping, I really do. And I've done some massive jumps on bikes that actually do go bigger jumps, you know, like bikes that can do it. Fat bike on here, I haven't got the speed, the rolling resistance on those big tires. Like I'm pedaling and it, it's, I still don't get, think I can get the speed. 
So I know you wanted to see me hit these jumps, the big motorway section, Fort William, but have you seen them flying down here? Mac 10 and pedaling in between the jumps. I'm gonna, I'm pulling, I'm white flag for me here. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna crack on and uh, get to the bottom because that is a full day of roughness on my body on that fatty. That was horrible. That was horrible. That was horrible. I'd done it. That was not World Cup speed, but I'd done it. Fat bike conquers Fort William. I chased the hell out of that top one just there. And these things are just nasty little acid ploppers. Flapping disgust. I'm so stoked I did those big, big tables up the top. I am so out of breath. It's incredible. Hopefully you enjoyed this. How uh, can you push a fat bike? Oh, well, fat bikes can ride, can ride World Cup tracks, man. <laughs> Just. I didn't get a puncture, nothing went wrong, which was incredible. I have a punct a, a tube in my, my back. Flap, I'm so tired. That takes a lot out of me. Hang on, let me get my breath. Cut. So there you go. Fort William, done. Fat bike. Oh, I'm done. That's like, the that's like mega avalanche. <gasps> Do you know what? I reckon if I've conquered that on a fat bike, I reckon I could do Mega Avalanche on a fat bike. Let us know. Thumbs up if you think I should do Mega Avalanche on a fat bike. You're going to say yes anyway. See ya.